Welcome to this introductory Morphic video. My name is Andrew Lemon from the Edge Software Consultancy. In this session I'm going to introduce to you Morphit, a new type of spreadsheet technology designed to help you capture and analyse your data. Let's have a look at Morphit and the basic interface. This is Morphit. In the central panel here we can see there's a workbook with a default sheet. Uh, Morphit can contain several types of pages, one of which is called the sheet, others which are called tables which can have structured data and other types of table for integration with third party systems. The Morphit sheet behaves very much like a traditional spreadsheet. It has a set of columns and a set of rows. I can use the sheet to capture data. So in this case I'm going to put in seven numbers and then I'm going to add some formula using a traditional formula uh, format uh, formula language. And I'm going to select the cells from 1 to 7 and that will calculate the sum of all the the, uh, the cells from A1 to A7. Clearly if I update any of the cells then the total will update as well. This is very much like a traditional spreadsheet. The second type of page inside of Morphit is called a table. So let's add a new table. Tables are for storing structured data. So in this case I'm going to create a table called days. I select the headers, you can see there's a default number of rows to the table which I'm going to change to 7 because I want this to represent the days of the week. Using the toolbar inside the current page panel we can add and build the structure of the table. So let's add a new field header which we'll call name. Now I'm going to copy and paste in a list of the names of the week. So I've got seven rows in the table and if I paste in the values you can see I've got days Monday through to Saturday. Now what I'd like is a numeric identifier which gives a number running from one to seven for the days of the week. So let's add a new field which we'll call ID now I'm going to add a formula which will calculate the row number. Okay. In Morphit, formulas can be added to the columns of a table rather than just in the cells. So in this case I'm going to add a formula. Here's the formula which is going to calculate a numeric identifier. The formula says if the the cell previous to the first row is empty, which it always is for the first cell, then set the value to 1, otherwise set it to the uh, 1 more than the previous value. So this is going to give me an incremental ID from 1 to n. So here you can see I've added uh, numbers 1 to 7. Well that's all very well, so what about now if I want to increase the, the dimensions of this table? So by right clicking inside the spreadsheet you can add rows to the uh, table either before or after the current position so let's add one after you'll see automatically because this column has a formula on it it will generate an identifier and obviously I can also have shortcut cut uh, keyboard shortcuts so if I just type in control I you can see it's adding rows to the table also I can delete rows to the table so just right click in here and say let's delete this one or I can use a keyboard shortcut. So let's reduce this back because I want this to be days of the week. So this is a table. Key things, first of all you just create the columns of rows that you're using in the table. Also we add formula to the column rather than individual cells. I can override the formula in individual cell by just saying so 6. You'll notice here that I have a little red dot in the top left corner. What this does is tell me that the cell formula in this cell here differs from that of the column formula. So this gives you an easy way to be able to audit spreadsheets inside of the Morphit environment because I can immediately tell that the formula for this cell differs from that of the column. If I want to reset it, I just use the reset button on the, the uh, current page view and say reset to the formula of the column. You can see now the red dots disappeared. So that's a quick way of auditing the cells. 
So these are basic cells. So we've seen a sheet, we've also seen a table. Also, in the Morphit environment, we can see the structure of a table on the right hand side in the current page. We can also see the properties of both a column or an individual cell in the bottom right hand side here inside the properties panel. On the left hand side here, we have various tools. So, first of all, there's the toolbox. The toolbox can be used to modify the behavior of either a whole column or an individual cell inside of a sheet. So, in this case, let's add a new column which we will call say um, day and I'm going to use in this case I'm going to use a checkbox control so I select the checkbox and click it on the top here and you can see each one of the cells I can now click which one of the days I want to use and unselect them as well so we don't really need this one, so I'm going to remove it from the table structure. So the toolbox can be used to modify the behavior of the, of the cells inside of a column. And you can see we've got various tools in here. Tools for uh, adding formulas, adding hyperlinks, uh, for putting pictures in the cells, modifying the behavior to act as a drop-down, checkbox. We also have some more advanced tools like charts, uh, curve fitting, and chemical structures as well. Some of these tools here are plugins to the standard application, other ones just come with more finish by the base version. So we've seen sheets and we've also seen tables. We've seen how to modify their behavior and also how to build up the structure of the table. In uh, further uh, videos that we're recording, you'll be able to see how to use MoreFit for a variety of applications and disciplines. At the moment, this is just the base introduction. Also inside the sheet here we can see there's an instruction panel. This allows you to add instructions about how to use a particular spreadsheet for Morphit, including hyperlinks to open up particular pages and sheets. There's also a list of the functions available. There's over 130 different formula uh, as you would find in a traditional spreadsheet. So let's look at some of them. So in here we can see we've got date and time functions inside under this section. Uh, we also might have maths and trigonometry functions and you can use this function to build up formula so let's have a quick look let's add a new formula here which we'll call sine and then I'm just going to say equals look up the sine function double click it and we're going to take the sine of the ID to buy press return it will calculate the sine of the ID down the table so this way you could build up formula language inside of the sheet. Uh, Morphit documents are documents, so when we press the save button, it's going to ask me to save it somewhere. So I'll just put the basic example here. You can also save the for these uh, Morphit documents as templates as well, where we remove the data and use it as a template to build new documents. So again, I can also create uh, new Morphit documents based on templates as well. So that covers the basic features of Morphit. Again, please come back and view some other videos to see how you can use Morphit for exciting applications such as uh, in the fields of science, engineering and finance. Thank you for your time.